Baza from Waiheke was this up this morning. In kitchens made across the land on DIY we rate. And there's the book that's been with us since 1908. But could it be the recipes for buns and cakes and stuff? I turn it out to be just too crusty, dry, and rough. So we put them to the test. Got some pointers from the best. Sat down some walking boots to have a merrill mush. Oh, mate, this no. is like bloody rock. Whoa, 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 I really need my funds to rise. Don't want no dental bills, I don't want them to be too dry. Say that yeast is a tricky piece, you gotta get it right. When I follow the book, they are dodgy, try as I might. So we called in Richard Till, we thought that he would fit the bill. Whipped up some Afghans and a cake, put some ginger nuts on bake. If you look carefully, you'll see this really is current affairs. <laughs> whoa, 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 I really need my buns to rise. If I go east to a homemade hot cross buns, I'll surely cry. Yes, hoping all our ovens produce feasty yeasty treats. Cause without the feasty yeasty beasties, Easter just ain't complete.